We shot this target with this choke tube and we got 60% of our pellets in the 30 inch circle. Then we changed to this choke tube at the same distance. We shot this target and got 80% in the 30 inch circle. Selecting the right choke tube can make all the difference, but how do you do it? That's exactly what we're talking about in today's video. Let's go. So I'm just not the same when I don't have energy and focus. After all, this is target focus life. One of my favorite products from Mountain Ops is Ignite. I have an Ignite almost every morning. It's got like 200 milligrams of caffeine, gets me jacked up, but not too jacked up, you know what I mean? But what I love most is it has elements in here, ingredients, I won't read them off, but it helps with focus, like clarity and focus. I really feel like I can start my morning out strong, whether I'm in the office or in the field. And this Mountain Ops Ignite Light is a new product, half the caffeine. So I sometimes like another shot of Ignite in the afternoon. I just mix it in with my water and uh, I don't have to get too much caffeine in the afternoon. I, I like to tone it down so it doesn't affect my sleep. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Mountain Ops. They make awesome stuff, but we better get back to the video. Let's go. Oh, also, if you want a discount, I got a discount code in the description. All right, so what in the heck is a choke tube? I know some of you know, some of you won't know, so let's break it down real quick. A choke tube is a tube that goes in the muzzle end of your shotgun. Screw it on in. Shot shells contain many, many BBs, hundreds of BBs, some of them. And as those BBs come out of the muzzle, they instantly start to open up. A choke tube helps us control the size of our pattern coming out. So some choke tubes are gonna allow us to have a really big pattern at a close distance. Some choke tubes, we wanna shoot further out. There's more constriction within that choke tube, more narrowing of that choke tube that allows us to have a tighter pattern further down range for farther targets. So at the most basic level, that is what a choke tube is. It helps us control our pattern. You might think, I have a shotgun. It came with choke tubes. That is accurate. Most shotguns come with choke tubes. Those are factory choke tubes, and they can work in a lot of applications. The reason people often go to aftermarket choke tubes is because one, they're built out of stronger metals. They are for specific purposes. They are extended, giving you a longer parallel section and often better patterns. So we mentioned the word constriction and we're gonna be talking about constriction a lot because that's what a choke tube does is it constricts your pattern. What are the different basic constrictions? Well, if you have a factory choke, you'll notice on the top of that choke, there's a notch. That indicates what the constriction of that choke tube is. So let's run through that real quick because it's important to understand identifying the choke and the constrictions. So generally speaking with factory chokes, there's five basic constrictions. So the most open constriction is a cylinder that will have five notches. Then we get a little narrower, improved cylinder that will have four notches. Then we get narrower yet, modified, that will have three notches, improved modified, two notches, and full one notch. That's a basic overview of the notch system to choke tubes, but when you get to aftermarket, there is so many more options. There's a lot of different brands and they'll all do things a little bit differently, but generally speaking, you'll have cylinder just like your factory choke, but now we have a skeet and then we have a light mod, a mod, improved mod, full, extra full, turkey, right? As we get going from big to small. So I think that can be an overwhelming. But when we get down to selecting a choke, we have to know some things before we ever get on a website or go into a store to buy a choke. Number one, we need to know what we're shooting. Are we shooting trap, skeet, sporting clays, ducks, geese? What distance are we shooting? You know, if I'm shooting turkeys, for example, I might say, hey, I wanna be able to make a 40 yard shot. If I'm shooting ducks, I wanna be able to make a 30 to 40 yard shot, trap, 40 yard shot. So kind of know your distance for what you're gonna be shooting. What you're shooting, the distance, know your shotgun. Every shotgun brand has unique threading. There's a lot of different thread systems. I mean, if you look at these different chokes, I mean, you can see this one, the threads are at the bottom, this one, the threads are at the top, all different threading options. So you need to know your shotgun brand and model. One other thing we need to know is what ammo we're gonna be shooting. That makes a difference in what choke tube we're gonna select, why? Different metals 
perform differently through choke tubes. Your factory choke tubes specifically often aren't built to handle high speed steel rounds at certain constrictions. There's more limitations on your factory choke tubes than there are the aftermarket because of how they're made. If you're shooting a shotgun, steel is gonna perform differently than lead, bismuth, tungsten. We have all these different options. So know ideally what ammo you'd like to shoot. And maybe you're not gonna know 100% what ammo until you pattern. And uh, that's an upcoming video, by the way, how to pattern your shotgun. But before you pattern, you need to have a choke selected. So, okay. You know all those things. You know what game you're pursuing. You know your shotgun. You know about the distances on average that you're gonna be shooting. And you know maybe at a basic level you're gonna be shooting steel or lead or bismuth or whatever. You know the metal at least. You maybe don't know the exact brand or box. Now with that information, you can go to a manufacturer's website or even to a retail store. I like to shop online for stuff like this. Look at all the different options. There's thousands of different SKUs and often in stores, they're not gonna have all of them. I use Carlson's, feel free to use whatever company you would like. Some of the reasons I like to use Carlson's is they've been around for a long time. They have nearly 30 years of patterning data and manufacturing. They're made here in the United States. They have a lifetime warranty. They have a phone number you can call, an email you can send in. I'll put those down in the description. So if you do have further questions on selecting a choke tube and wanna chat with them about that, you can definitely do that. They are by all means, more knowledgeable than me. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to chokeTube.com. If we're buying from Carlson's Choke Tube, it's really easy. Just go to Choke Tubes, find your gauge. We're shooting a 12 gauge. Find the make of your shotgun. We're shooting Mossberg 940, same chokes as the 500. Click right there. Look through the options. We are gonna be hunting ducks with basic steel. I know I want to shoot the cremator, obviously made for ducks, and I want the ported one. So let's click on that. Now we got to look at our constriction. This one, uh, you know, mid range, most of my shots are going to be in that mid range. Let's just go ahead and add that to the cart. Boom. We're good to go. They make it pretty easy to figure it out. But you got to start with that information that we talked about, arming yourself with that information. One other thing to point out, because a lot of people do this, is they switch sometimes, they got like a modified choke and they shoot between lead and steel. Maybe they go out on the clay range and they're shooting lead, then they go duck hunting, they're shooting steel. Steel performs differently than lead does through a choke tube. When you're shooting a modified choke tube with, with lead and then you go to steel, it performs more like a full choke tube. And we're gonna put up a chart on the screen here that kind of breaks down the average distances and the effective range between lead and steel so you get a good idea just as a starting point of like, hey, what constriction am I looking for? I'm shooting clays at 30 yards with lead. What constriction's best? We'll take a look at this chart. That's a great starting point. One thing that I find helpful that Carlson's does and some other manufacturers is they make choke tubes specific for certain applications and certain ammo. So for example, my son turkey hunts with a 410. He shoots the Federal TSS heavyweight. They make a choke specifically for that. They test it with that ammo. They know it works well. Uh, another example would be like the Bismuth Bone Buster. If you're shooting Bismuth, this one's been tested with Bismuth. Probably gonna get better results. If I'm chasing pheasants using the Prairie Storm, they make a black cloud choke. You have different options like that with your different ammos. And I think most of the time that's gonna give you a better result than just choosing a random one. When I shoot clays, I often go with the ported sporting clays choke. They're made specifically for sporting clays and lead shot. Generally speaking, you can, I believe, shoot steel shot unless you're shooting uh, a real tight constriction. They can kind of guide you through the process. I prefer extended chokes. That is chokes that extend out past the muzzle. It uh, generally leads to better performance and they're much easier to get in and out. Often you're just able to do it with your hands. A flush mount, just as the name implies, is flush with your barrel. And if you look at your barrel and you're like, hey, there ain't no choke in here, Steve and uh, there's no threads in here. That's because you don't have an interchangeable choke system, which was a lot more common on older guns. They had what we would call fixed chokes or fixed barrels, and then you're kind of stuck with what you got, all right? But most modern guns come with choke tubes and you're able to add aftermarket choke tubes. And I really recommend that when you get specific about what you're doing, and uh, maybe it's, I'm always shooting clays, I'm always shooting trap. Well, get yourself a specific choke tube that's gonna work 
ideal for trap, but then get out and pattern it. And that will be one of our upcoming videos on how to shotgun, so stay tuned for that. Patterning is fascinating. You can get so many different results because your gun, ammo, and choke tube all work together. And changing one of those three factors can give you dramatically different results. Last year, we made a video on what was the best ammo for waterfowl hunting, and we tested several different loads, all out of the same gun, all out of the same choke tube, and we got dramatically different results. So check out that video. Uh, give you some insight on how different ammos can perform differently. It's not all about the choke tube, but when you have the right choke tube with a good ammo, that really does make a difference. Another video we made was what shotgun was best for patterning. We used all the same choke tube and we used all different guns and got dramatically different results. So choke tube is only one part of the equation. Uh, but in this patterning video coming up, you'll see that we shot bismuth and then we shot steel and our, our point of impact were different, our spread distribution were different, got different results all out of the same choke tube. So that's why when you go into the purchase selection, knowing the ammo, knowing the gun, and knowing the distance and the game that you're going after really helps you narrow it down. We got several different options from like extended choke tube with a knurled head, that's with this kind of cross cutting on top, or we can do ported. Now the question is with ported is, does it make a difference? It's supposed to reduce recoil and muzzle flip. It bleeds off gases a little bit differently. I would think that it would have some impact. How much, I don't know. I do shoot, um, like in my exhibition gun, a lot of guns I shoot ported choke tubes, uh, just wanting to believe that it makes a difference and looking for every advantage that I can get. Uh, that's why I do a lot of things that I do, like with the Falcon Strike and you know, all these 5% difference changes add up to a big deal. So there's lots of chokes to choose from. It can be overwhelming, but I hope this video helped break down a little bit on what chokes are, how to navigate selecting a choke. If you have any questions, again, I did put Carlson's info down in the description, so make sure you reach out to them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any other ideas on choke tube videos, patterning videos, ammo videos, put it down below, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.